Hi guys, um, leading on from yesterday being up at the allotment, sort of giving me a bit of a spur to, um, you know, plant out some of the seeds and what have you that I'm going to be putting up there. Um, so first off we're going to be doing the butternut um, squash. There's only eight seeds in there but obviously we get um, quite a few um, butternut seeds off of it. Uh, so I've got these little, you can't see them, but like live mini greenhouses um, that we got from the car boat they just stand up on their own you put a, a lid on top of them you're gonna have to excuse me i've got a runny nose um so so yeah could put these straight out into the ground but we've got rabbits and stuff up there that will eat away any little nude seedlings <coughs> so i'm going to do them in these little pots and then pop them into these little um, some uh, greenhouse things that I've got here bring them on at home and then when they started to grow reasonable size then they will be put out into the ground up there so uh, these you can harvest August to October uh, before we get any frost or what have you which we don't really get any frost um, August September October maybe um, so yeah so I've got 12 seeds in here um got my compost i'm just gonna these little pots are great as well because these will instead of having to take them out and disturb the roots and everything you can just pop this straight into the ground um and obviously it degrades over time so that's good because there's nothing worse than trying to pull your seedlings out and they're getting damaged by uh, the roots are getting damaged and everything by pulling them out so this is just a normal um, bedding compost that I'm using because uh, these I will feed fill these with feed these with um, grow more and stuff like that um, as they're growing. I'm just loosely putting the uh, soil in there. I don't want to pack it down too much because when you start packing it down again, the roots are going to struggle to um, grow. And I just want to say, I ain't no proper gardener, right? This is just what I've learned over time, okay? So don't go saying in the comments, she's talking out of her backside because I probably am. <laughs> so these ones are going to be the butternut squash. Six, I need one more pot. And these little pots are quite reasonably, you know, cheap to buy. You're not going to be spending a fortune on these. So... I've got my pots already. I've got my butternut squash. Well, there's more than eight seeds in there. They lie like cheap Japanese watches. Whoops. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put two in each pot because sometimes you just get the ones that just not that won't. Um, you know succeed so to speak so i'm just gonna do two little holes with my fingers into the soil and just cover them over and say god gave us fingers for these sorts of things don't need no fancy tools it's really really hot here today guys um, the sun has <laughs> just flown straight past me and nearly took my head off. Um, so yeah, it's really hot. Should have been doing a market this weekend, but um, they missed us out on the uh, email. So, in a way, that's probably a good thing because it means that I can get this done and be up at the allotment yesterday. Right, so there's 16 seeds in here. So they probably mean like, because they say put two together, because you can almost guarantee that you will lose one or two. And then what happens is you generally pick out the one that's a bit weaker. So I'm just going to put a tiny bit of soil over the top of these, just to make sure they've got a bit of covering. OK, 
Okay, so there's my first lot. Yeah, I'm just going to pop these in. Oh, so got little thingies to go in them, so I know what they are. And I'm just going to line them all down one side. Excuse me, guys. Probably do with a. Uh, some little ones in there just to so that I know exactly what they are so again I've got some more butternut squashes to um, plants but I'm not going to do them just yet so the next thing I'm going to do is the pumpkin okay again we've got average eight seeds in here um, again harvest them September to November uh, apply liquid feed every two weeks when fruit begins to swell but yeah these um, you can't no, you can sow them outdoors but again I wouldn't you know and again I would, I'd be putting two in each um, into each pot just so you know we, we sort of almost guarantee ourselves that we're going to get at least one out of each pot right. and these what I'm planning to do with the pumpkins because I don't eat pumpkin we don't really eat pumpkin over here in the UK as such um, dogs can eat pumpkin if they've got sore bellies and stuff like that it's good for their bellies apparently um, I'm probably going to get shouted at by my daughter for that one. Um, but yeah, we don't generally eat pumpkins, even though I know Annabelle does. Um, but like pumpkin pies and stuff. I've never actually eaten pumpkin, so I can't really say that, can I? I mean, is it much like the butternut squashes and stuff like that? Yeah, so maybe, I don't know, could you, could you chunk it up and roast it and stuff like that? Yeah? So that's that's one thing you could have like a mixed roast with pumpkin, butternut squash, um, swede or turnip as you call it, potatoes, uh, sweet potato. Oh, it could be quite a nice. And carrots, of course, you can do your carrots and um, yeah, actually that could be a good idea. <laughs> so I've just uh, given myself some ideas there. I say this has got not as many seeds in it, but one up there hiding. I've got you. Also, um, I do have a parrot, as you'll know. Two, four, six, eight, nine. I've got so in this one. So again, I'm just going to put two in each, two separate little holes. <laughs> It sounds like the kids have got a pull out along the way there. It's nice to hear the kids. I mean, I love kids. Couldn't eat a whole one, but it's nice to hear them playing like that. And you can hear the birdies tweeping in the background as well. There we go. Now I know I have got another pack of pumpkins in here somewhere. Um, these are big max ones these are but again it's the same same um, story um, so like I say I mean I've, I've got a parrot so I have been known to um, you know rob her food because you know she has pumpkins in there sometimes as well so, so yeah so there again don't pat it down too much, just give it a little bit of a, a topping over these. I mean, let me know in the comments when I upload this whether you know you find this interesting or if you want me, <laughs> me to uh, 
thumbs up, thumbs down. I need to shut the hell up. <laughs> I can do that. So right, so now we've got a little pumpkin sign. So we're gonna go this side. Mm. Yeah, so what I thought I'd do is I would put these out like the kids. So we've got a stall that goes up and down. Um, you know, come up and down the past our house to take the kids to school and what have you. So I was thinking, you know, if I get too many, I can always um, put them at the end of the garden. The kids can take them when it comes to Halloween and stuff. So that's the idea. So now what we're going to do, I'm just going to fill these ones up. Sorry, wobbling the table a bit there, trying to get the, saw the sawdust. Where the bloody hell sawdust come from? Compost. In. Get the lump in that one. I'm going to do sweet corn next. Um, love sweet corn. One of my faves. Um, corn on the cob and I did quite a few of these the other year and yeah they're, they're really fun to grow um, and what I mean all the all the you know all these things are all really good fun to watch them grow um, get a bit disappointed when some you know die off or the rabbits get them but yeah i'll put them out at the allotment when i know that they're going to be reasonably safe from the little crooked critters see if i can get these these are uh, these are little blighters these are if you can hear kids that's the next door neighbor the kids are having fun by the sounds of it bless them Time just flies, doesn't it, with these kids and stuff, you know? I remember when the, the youngest one next door was born, you know? She was born um, the day before my 40th. And she's quite grown up now, which is cute. <laughs> she's 11, she'll be 12 this September, that's hard to believe, you know? Funniest little soul you could ever make. Funniest little soul. Right. So I've got quite a few. There's about 25 here of the sunflowers. Um, so this probably because I've got herbs to, to plant as well. I'm going to have my own little herb garden, as you saw up at the allotment, but again, I want them to start from here, in something like this, that you can just, uh, you know, take out. Right, so these, you need to, um, you need, they can harvest between August and September. Harvest when the, the stalks turn brown and the corn is tender. I say we had quite a few from it last year. Um, you know, and again, I mean, I've, I've rubbed these off Sky before now, off, uh, not Sky as in Sky Place, but Sky as in my parrot. Because um, obviously they have these in in her um, food. These really look dried up, but... No. Oh. Dogs must be out the front. Bobby's come home. Put them out the front. He's been up there today, um, starting to build the the tunnel. So if it, when the tunnel's done, then and these are a bit further on, then I can take them up there. But, uh, so that should be fun. 
and he's been up there cementing the, the poles in so because we get quite high winds up there as well because it's really open um, so you've got to make sure that what you're putting up there ain't going to fry away How many have I got there? Ghost parking. So we said two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Let's have a twelfth one because I've got to watch for I need some of the compost for the the herbs. And the herbs aren't just for cooking with. So I should be using them in some of my um spells and what have you and I'll just have a quick run through with you in a minute of what I've got. I'm just going to pop these back in here because uh, yeah I mean if you're going to bring them on in the greenhouse or what have you then oh hang on a minute then you um you can plant them out really sort of almost any time really if you're bringing them on in a greenhouse or a, or a tunnel I know one of the guys up at the adopment he's got strawberries fully grown already and um, what have you so yeah that that's a big investment is the um, is the tunnel right so there's our little sweet corn in there and I'm gonna pop them I will put them in the other one because I think um, don't want to put too much in each one because they're going to flower out quite big and what have you. So uh, here I've got this is what I'm talking about, like the greenhousey things. I don't know if you can see that. So it's got its own legs, and then it's got a top that goes on top of it, which is just like clear plastic. So it's actually like acting like a greenhouse. So. I've got them. So I'm going to shove all these in here. Oops. As I say, these were broke quite nicely in there. Uh, right, so that's the, that's the um, sweet corn done. Now, stuff like the radishes. Yeah, you can put these straight in the ground. Radish grow like wildfire. Literally, they take a couple of weeks, it seems. So they're going to go straight in the ground in some raised bedding that I've got there. I don't think, I'm not sure, but I don't think the rabbits and stuff like the leaves on these because they never attacked them last year. Um, so, yeah. I've got these, um, these um, spring onions. Um, there's red and white. I've never seen the red ones, I must admit. Um, then I brought these little dinky carrots that I'll be putting out. Um, and if you can see, they're like little round ones. But I thought I, I brought them for the rats because uh, they do like their carrots. And quite often the carrots are, you know, they go to waste a bit. But yeah, I've got some more butter, butterscotch. Uh, butter nut squash <laughs> brain wouldn't work then i've also got sweet to put out um i have to put some of these giant sunflowers out i'm not having much fun with them at the moment but i will be looking at them um later on um so yeah so what i was saying about herbs and stuff so i've got a mirage of different herbs and what have you Got some chili peppers. Um, they're the, the strong ones, I believe. Um, but yeah, I got them for Annabelle and her partner because I know they like to cook a lot with those sort of stuff. So I've got parsley. Um, I've got some sage, which I'm going to try. I'll grow this, and I'm going to try and dry out the leaves and everything, and maybe make my own smudge, my own smudge stick. So. We'll see how that goes. Uh, we've got garlic chives. We've got coriander. Tarragon. Did I say I already have basil? No, parsley that was. I've got basil. 
and I've got spinach because then if you watch my my cooking you know that I do me um, macaroni cheese special with uh, spinach in it absolutely love it so I thought well rather than having to buy a big bag of it half it goes to waste um, grow me home and there's uh, there feels like there's loads of seeds in here um, it says outdoor planting um, hmm. well what I might do is um, I'll see if hubby's got some wire to put around these raised beds that I've got um, so maybe then I can like put this sort of stuff in but I have got a raised bed over there that I'm going to be doing my um, you know these the herbs and what have you plus I'll probably keep some back at home um, for cooking and you know that you can just grab out of um, so the the all well, the herbs and that um, they're going to go in in these I've got a little helper that's going to help me with that after um, but yeah these um, yeah it's a shame because I wasn't on YouTube um, two two years ago I think and on this this part of the the garden my husband actually built me a greenhouse um, out of timber and and quite a thick plastic and these these that I've just showed you I have them everywhere I had things growing I had stuff growing up my ear rolls I just couldn't keep up with it um, so yeah so then most of it went up to the allotment and uh, we had god we had tomatoes come there with our ear rolls it was amazing um, and people like because it was our first year up at the allotment and people that have been up there for for donkey's years and been doing this they couldn't believe how well i would brought all these plants on and it was in a make you know makeshift greenhouse so it just goes to show you, you don't have to go out and spend a fortune on greenhouses um, you know even if it's just something tiny you know you can certainly grow your own stuff and become quite self-sufficient uh, when it comes to vegetables and what have you so um, yeah I will keep you updated on how these are growing um, time stamp them and everything like that so you can see as they're growing and uh, I'll probably be doing some more planting um, shortly I've got to get some more compost anyway and uh, yeah because I've got to get the swede out I've got to get the swede out I think we've got potatoes already planted up there that are starting but yeah, um, let me know down in the comments if there's anything you want to see or if you've got any questions. Um, I know somebody did ask about my allotment the other day um, on the video that I did yesterday. And I think for the for the three, so we've got two full allotments and then we've got like the half allotment which is mine. And I believe we pay something like £55 a year for the, for the free something like that maybe a little bit more but it's it, it it's next to nothing really when you think what you're going to get back off of your land um, and I think that you know just lately with the way that the world's going you know I implore people to try and get a bit more self-sufficient uh, even if you can't get an allotment just get a window box with some herbs in it or anything you know anything if you've got a little little garden just Put aside a little plot of garden, you know, just a little meter. If you've got meter square, where you can just plant carrots or, you know, just something that will keep you going if if we need to. Um, you know, I was I was even thinking about getting some chickens out here, but probably decided that would be too much because I want to start getting more self-sufficient with you know with our own eggs and yeah, you know, we had chickens before, um, and hubby does eat a lot of chickens, so yeah in a way it, especially the prices of eggs i mean i was in tesco's the other day and i heard a woman say to her husband there's no eggs there's no eggs and the price of eggs absolutely ridiculous absolutely ridiculous so i might have to talk to him to get me some chickens um just something else to keep me occupied because this is how i want to move forward guys okay i want to be interacting with you doing things that you know a lot of you want to do sort of try and make it a bit of a more of a life lifetime channel um, where you know I take you along on my journeys 
whether it's up to the allotment or you know even here back in the back garden or in the front garden doing what I can because this is what you call content entertainment educational um, you know it's a, it's a two-way thing if I'm having trouble with something I might say hey blah 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 can somebody help me with, with this especially like Red Door Woman who she does all her saging and stuff like that so you know I've really I've, I've I need to talk to Red Door Woman because I know um, in her in her um, um, well my brain's gone dead but I know she has all different coloured sages and stuff so and I know I believe she does grow her own sage and dries out on everything so yeah I might be I might be uh, you know knocking on Red Door Woman's door to um, see what advice you can give me on stuff like the the herbs and stuff so yeah it's you know let's grow together let's let's make this um fun educational um even if you find gardening boring let's try and make it a bit more entertainment um will i grow some flowers um possibly i might i don't know um if we get the if we can get the tunnel up and running yeah i might well do might well do some flowers it might have to be next year but um you know this is the start for this year um i believe we've got strawberries in this big pot behind me and uh yeah don't forget guys use your composting as well you know any food that you have left over don't put it in the bin put it in a bucket or have you use it so you get that compost get that nutrients back into the ground um just every little bit helps you know, even recycling come on guys let's, let's you know let's be real about this how much rubbish do we do we throw out in you know in the bins that can be recycled so like, like with my craft as well in my crafting you see me where i upcycle things and what have you it could be a pot noodle pot and it turns into a little house in the garden and what have you and with lights in you know i want to start sort of trying to do more of that um and more of so like you guys can go yeah i've got that at home i've got this at home or you know some flat uh, you know things things like the sweet corn you might have sweet corn for your dinner um i'm not saying whether they grow if they've been cooked or i don't know someone can might google can you can you regrow sweet corn out of sweet corn that you've brought out of a tin might be something to look into so if anybody's got any questions or you know want to have a chat about this you know on the live or what have you um then just hit me up let me know um we can soon sort something like that out but you know summer's here it's uh it's really warm here which normally not this warm at this time of the year um you know if i stay out here too long there's just going to be a puddle on the floor and people are going to go where's sally and they go there's the witch on the floor in a puddle of water um but yeah so you know do follow me thank you for coming along we'll be doing the um the herbs and stuff and uh i'll keep you up to date what's going on with these but cheers guys thanks for coming by Take care now and tell somebody you love them today. Love you. Bye.